Alberto, what's up everybody? It's your boy, boy, Bar Bar Cannabis All-Star doing what he do, checking in on the ones and twos, man, ones and twos. Man, congratulations to all those who have been following me and helping me the ways that you guys have been helping me. I appreciate it. I want you guys to pat yourself on the back. I want everybody to know that uh, I didn't get that fucking uh, cut for those genetics. We got that cut for those genetics because we as a team put all that shit together. Yeah, so I want to I congratulate all y'all in the business getting down the way y'all getting down. And want to say thank you guys oh so motherfucking much. So now where we at? Man, I'm just riding around in this rain, bro. Riding around in this rain. You know, we at the torrential downpour or atmospheric flood number 9, 10, or 11 or some shit. I have no idea. I just know we driving, we trapping, we hustling, we getting it. We getting it nonstop like we need to be. Now, what's been popping? Oh, you know, the little tent looking nice. Things is looking good. I can't complain about that. I got the little digital thing. I'm going to go to the house and check their little numbers and make sure everybody's numbers is cool and everybody is all right and there ain't no issue. Ah, that after work blunt, man. That shit is amazing, man. That shit is amazing. It's out here raining, bro. Raining, 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 raining. Yeah, for today, man. Shit, I can't complain. I could giggle a little bit. You know, the mother of my kids is uh, she on some weird shit, man. She just on some weird shit that I just, I really don't understand. I have been, I'm really a no fuck around type nigga, and I will bust your shit if you disrespect me. So to have somebody disrespecting me who's I can't go at it uh, the normal way is uh, extremely a pain in the ass. So where are we at today? All right, so I'm doing my hustle. I see my kid. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's run it from the top, from the top. So ever since we got this, uh, what's that called? The uh, temporary order. My baby mama didn't listen to shit. I ain't getting no kids on no holidays. Uh, I'm buying all that shit. Couldn't see him for Halloween. Didn't get him for uh, the Thanksgiving. Didn't get the boy for his birthday. You know what I'm saying? Like, didn't get the boy for Christmas. I ain't get the boys for New Year's. None of that shit. None of that shit. She basically told me to go fuck myself. Fuck you and what you stand for. You ain't got shit coming. And a partridge and a pear tree. She find herself in a situation where she done lost her car, she done lost her home, she done basically lost everything. Hit me in the middle of the trap talking about, can you come get the boys? I'm like, hell yeah, I'll come get them boys. I go get the boys. We doing it, right? As soon as I get them, I'm like, we celebrating birthdays and holidays and candy. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get mines in. Now here go the cold part. So my youngest was like, man, I wanted to go to Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. I was like, wait a minute. I thought you did go to Chuck E. Cheese for your birthday. He like, nah, I ain't go to Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. So I was like, wow, I gave her money for pizza at Chuck E. Cheese. She ain't even take the boy to the Chuck E. Cheese. But her phone get cut off. So it's just, it's just, it's a pain in the ass is what it is. And just to have somebody just so disrespectful like you know if you gonna come over you know you pretty much gotta be invited over well she done talk so crazy you know what I'm saying like to me and she done been so sideways with my uh, with my wifey that motherfuckers is like nah man we don't want you just over here like I'll put it to you like this I was like if you want to come to this house you need to clear it up with my old lady Long story short, oh Stacy was like, I ain't gotta do that. I'm gonna come over here and scream and holler and and go live and you gonna give me the kids. I'm like, what the fuck is your problem? 
Then another time she come back after some defuckery is like, I'm gonna call the sheriffs. You bring the sheriffs to my house and even the sheriffs like, I don't know what to tell you. So they leave. It's just like the principle of you calling the sheriffs on my house, you coming to my house unannounced like you running some shit when it's not at the best interest of the kids. But the homies explained to me, hey man, this shit gonna get worse before it get better. So I had a precursor, so I wasn't really tripping. So I end up like dropping like, like a band and some change, you know what I'm saying? For birthdays and holidays real quick with the kids. When Stacy was doing bad, I gave her the, hey, on some real shit. When anybody in your circle, like, doing really, really bad, you give them the ceremonial hundred bucks for them to, you know, get a room, get something to eat. They ain't got to really, like, stress out for that night. They can wake up the next day, try to get their shit straight. So the first night, I give her a hundred. The night after that, I pay for a hotel room, which is like 80 some odd bucks. Now she going around telling me and texting shit like that, that I need the tattoo sex offender across my forehead and how much of a monster and a piece of shit I am. Um, if I'm such that, why are you asking me for anything? And if I'm such that, why am I doing these things for the mother of my kids? So it's just, it's very interesting to, yeah, I don't know if y'all can see that down there, a big ass grow. It's just really irritating because now she like, oh, the boys need a hundred bucks. The fuck the boys need a hundred bucks for? Like Justice and Legend Wallets is in their room. They got money. They where they shit need to be. Yeah, I got my little people, little wallets, little money clips. You know, teach them a young, give their wallet a money clip. So I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. You over here working on transition. I'm like, what is your problem when you said the boys didn't have a place to stay? They should have stayed here. I already told you you could use the address to get the kids in school. Now you running around the counties trying to act like you broke and homeless. And you got these kids and ain't nobody here to take care. So you can cut the line on these aids and programs and shit. Man, that's bad, bro. That's just bad. It's bad. It's bad. But going to ask me, and I tell her, I say, hey, do I got it? Yeah, I got it, bro. I got it. Yeah, I do. I do. I really do. But I'm not finna continue to keep paying for a fucking hotel rooms under the guise that, you know what I'm saying, oh, it's child support. No, bitch, you filed child support. And I'm confused if we still married on paperwork, bitch. How is you filing for child support? And how you going to file for child support when I've been dulling out all this fucking money for the kids and you? I just, I don't understand it. So, hey, if she ain't got a place to stay, somebody need to call CPS on her ass. Um, and that's what it is. I know she got to go to court next week. We got some shit to talk about in court. But that shit was crazy. All of a sudden, a text talking about, you know, I haven't, you know, we, the child support hasn't come in yet, but we can deduct this. No, we're not deducting shit. I'm not giving you anything unless it is for my kids. And then I tell her on some real deal shit. Hey, I ain't got it. Let me see if I can borrow it. But if you and the county, you and the boys can stay in the boys room, that way y'all safe, warm, and dry. I ain't heard nothing. I ain't heard a motherfucking thing. And that just let me know. It's like, dude, I'm not finna pay for her lifestyle. It's just not finna happen. I pay for my kids. My kids got a place to stay. My kids got a safe home. My kids got a warm, dry home. Now that they mama out there cuckoo, cachooing, doing all that weird shit, that's on her. I'm towing this line. I'm not giving her shit. If there's a problem, contact the fucking police. Contact CPS. I'm not finna play these games. Because I just feel like I'm being played taken advantage of yeah I do I feel like I'm being played I feel like I'm being taken advantage of she trying to play me like a motherfucking sucker um, and I can't handle it bro I can't I'm not even finna engage in it I feel the best thing to do is to toe the line 
if she want to talk to my old lady, she can work it out. And they can like, you know, she can sleep in there with the boys. The boys got their own shit. Now, whether or not she wants to do what's right for the boys, I don't know. But from what I'm seeing is she only want to do what's right for her. I just ain't really got the time for it, bro. Does it suck? Yeah. But you can't be leveraging my kids against me to try to make me act right. That ain't finna happen. Not at all, bro. Not at all. And the fact that she even trying to play games like that is just really immature on her part and really out of pocket. I'm talking about she homeless. She ain't got a place to stay. She ain't got a car. Bitch, the keys to the bourbon right over there. I already told you you could use the bourbon. But nah, she don't want to do it. She want to go around and act like she ain't got no support or nothing so she can lie to these people on this paperwork so she can try to get them services. Instead of trying to get up and do the right thing. Man, I swear, these folks nowadays, they very interested and is very, very, you know what I'm saying? Like, ugh. Like, how messy. But y'all niggas wanted to know what's going on with my day. My day was going cool until she, so my boys tell me, oh, I need a hundred bucks. My kids don't need no hundred bucks, bitch. You need a hundred dollars. You need a hundred dollars for a room. Well, if you got a hundred percent custody and a hundred percent this, what the fuck you calling me for? What was all that? I don't need you. I can do it by myself. You ain't shit. Da, 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 da. Now I'm up for, I just, uh-uh. And I'm like this. If I pay a dime, you change your custody. Fuck that. I'm not finna be out here paying these bills and not be respected. It's not finna happen, bruh. Like, anytime you just gotta be like, man, hold the fuck on. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was already in this seat beforehand. Bitch, I was paying everybody bills and wasn't respected and I was taking that thinking that things was gonna get better. Nope. We doing the same shit, bitch, and we finna cut that off right now. If you need a place to stay, you can go to the police station and let them niggas know that them kids need some CPS action and CPS to be like, who they daddy? And they call me and I come get my kids. But I'm not finna be out here because I just don't see it's gonna stop. It's gonna be a hundred today. Oh, I need a little help for tomorrow. Oh, I need a little help for the, no, bitch, I'm not helping you for shit. You dishonored my name, my bloodline, my clan. You fucking disrespected me behind like all type of shit, so I can't do it. I don't know what to tell you. I done did my ceremonial honey. I done got a safe place for my boys. And if she want to fucking like put the boys in a safe place, she know where to put them. If she want to get on that ego and pride shit, that's on her, man. I know one part of me was like, oh, go, you know, but I can't, bro. Because if I keep doing it, she going to keep on taking advantage of me and I can't do it. If she'd have just been respectful and responsible and followed everything like it was supposed to be and been a boss bitch like I know she can be, then we wouldn't be in this situation. But since we're in this situation, man, hey, shit, I got to fluff my pillow. Nigga, I made this bed. So I'm at to fluff mine and be right with it. And it just, hey, it is what it is, Bucci. Does it hurt? Yeah. But if you're going to stand on your 10 toes, you got to stand on your 10 toes. My goal is to take care of my kids. Now, my job ain't to take care of this broad. We was just in the courthouse where they was talking about, do you want any spousal support? She was like, no. Do you want any child support? She like, no. Now all of a sudden, she don't get her way. Uh, now she just want to just go crazy. I'm going to file for food stamps. So now we going to file. I'm like, hey, I am down for child support, but we got to change a whole bunch of shit. You can't have 100%. And I'm over here paying this bill. Y'all got me fucked up. That's what's not finna happen. I've been a day one dad, so y'all gonna respect me as a day one dad. And I'm probably gonna get in trouble on court next week. So y'all hear about that. I got to. I got to go in there and check this judge. Yeah, I mean, shit. As long as I don't say nothing way, way out of pocket, I ain't finna get locked up. They gonna say something, and I'm gonna tee the fuck off on everybody. And just look around and be like, what? Y'all done already got the kids with 100% of her. You ain't giving me nothing to act right. You got me fucked up, bitch. And be like, here go a stack of documents showing that y'all been whooping my ass. 
for the last few months and you the dumb bitch that signed that paperwork. So I don't know what to tell you. You either make it right or you don't. And watch it be like, you can't talk like that. Y'all ain't finna tell me how the fuck I can talk and how I can't talk. Y'all keep abusing the motherfucker. We gonna have to stand up and defend myself. So I'm here to defend myself. Y'all gonna stop whooping my ass, being mean, trying to bully me in the court of law. Real simple, bro. Real simple. But yeah, that's that's what I've been going through in a nutshell, man. You know, I've been trying to keep it to myself and mind my own goddamn me business. Yeah, bro, I can't. They really got men living their lives as women and they want me to respect them, but I can't get no respect. Y'all got me fucked up. They was trying to say I was this, that, and the other. I ain't show no signs of none of that shit. So I'm going to have to let these people know, but hey, 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 you are fucked up. You ain't going to get me like that. So now where are we? Well, I think I'm going to uh, segue back into the to the realm of comfort, you know. Uh, I got the peach uh, goblin seeds. I got those, uh, what the fuck is that? Devil driver times root beer? Yeah. And then we got that other tiki. <laughs> <coughs> wow, that was a good one. We was working with that tent. The homies was like, you going to do threes or fives? I was like, well, if we do three gallons, then we can, uh, what do you say, get like 20 or 25 plants in there in that uh, four by eight. Whoa. <laughs> oh, need me some drink. Hold on. <laughs> this rain is fucked up, bro. <laughs> nah, this rain. Rain kind of thick. <laughs> Like, I want to do the three gallons, but we could do so much more diversity. <coughs> <coughs> with the one gallons. Yeah, I'll be arguing myself back and forth. One gallon, three gallon, one gallon, three gallon. You get the bigger pot. I mean, you're going to plants. You know, I just, I don't know, bro. I'm trying not to overthink it. We was going to do the deep water culture until Vern was like, you ain't got no recirculatory. So when you go to go empty those motherfuckers or redo them, you're going to have a pain in the ass to deal with. And I'm like, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, I can. So we're going to have to do some soil. And it's either going to be one gallons or three gallons. Oh, you see my little brain work? I'm like, ah. I got the soil, I got the pots on either which way. I got the ones and the threes. Right now I got that bitch filled up with all the one gallons from the other uh, grow tent, that five by five. So I can clean out the five by five and uh, you know, it's not a uh, feng shui for me. So I need to go in there and, and spin that bitch around and make it neat. You know how I go, man. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, might have to light another one. Man, I got to get the last few hits off this bitch. I kind of like how that uh, Peace Goblin go. That Peace Goblin got that Gelato 41 in it. <clears throat> Why you bullshit? He got this other shit that's got that Gelato 41 in it too called Sonic Driver. I've been looking at. Uh, uh, but do we need seats? Nah, we just having fun, bro. I got to put in Bibbs and Jeffro. Get their gear rocking into this bitch. There we go. We cut that fan down. Yeah, it's fucking raining hard. Motherfuckers is pulling over and shit. 
They'll be alright. They'll be alright. I noticed everybody talking about that Athena. God damn, when I get some time, I'll go by the fucking shop and go get some of them goddamn things. Yeah, yeah, when I get a chance, I'll go get all that shit. I'll go get all that shit. Wait a minute, pay attention. There's some big ass potholes out here. Hey, you seen what them niggas been doing down in uh, Frisco and in the Bay? Man, them niggas been going up on them cars, just fucking like, just breaking into them like it ain't shit. Robbing niggas and all type of stuff. I seen that shit and was like, what? I'm supposed to be going to Frisco here eventually. Y'all niggas get to fucking with me. I'm just going to cut your ass up. I ain't shoot nobody. I'm going to slice and dice a nigga up, boy. I'm going to carve some fucked up shit to somebody. I'm just saying, Bucci. Oh, oh, I know what I wanted to talk about. I know what I wanted to talk about. So, what I've been learning is that a lot of niggas in the traps and in the trenches have uh, sold out and became uh, the cartel's uh, uh, walk dog, lap dog, bitch dog, he little dog, you know, a little, little bark bark, little scarf, you scruff scruff. You're like, what you mean? Man, I've been hearing that niggas from the hood, niggas who like niggas, like, you know what I'm talking about, niggas. Niggas is working for the cartel. Got the cartel front them shit, man. Got them front them weed on the low. And I just looked over at the homie. It was just like. So you know it's the cartel. You know it's cartel weed. You know what the cartel stand for in the United States. And you still gonna fuck with it? Oh man, they put money in my pocket. Alright. <laughs> Good luck, bro. Do what you need to do. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Now, I can see if you got your Mexican partner. Like, I got a... Like, my closest Mexican partner, Lalo. I've been fucking with Lalo for years, bro. Like, for years like that. And I know his family, you know, shit. Now, I fuck with him. Like, I fuck with him as a person. But, uh... You know how these other niggas be going. Like, oh, let me put you. Oh, man. Just hard out there, bro. It's just hard out there. And I got it. But it's just, you know, motherfuckers be putting themselves in thirsty, hungry, starving situations. Now, watch this. This how dumb niggas is. I already know. You ain't got to tell me. I done seen this shit. So, if you front somebody uh, some packs, right? You don't put this person in debt with you. So when you put a person in debt, that person is your slave. Because they have to perform a, a duty for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my partners who are out there getting fronted, nigga, packs and dope from the Mexican cartel. Like, bro. You are their slave. You are their bitch. You are going to have to do what is necessary to keep them niggas happy. And it's not like a nigga get fronted to get his weight up. Like, okay, cool. I'm going to front you these 10, right? Then when I get done fronting you these 10, you're going to buy your own five. Niggas ain't finna do that. They finna get fronted on that 10. And they get fronted on that 10. And they get fronted on that 10. And they just going to be in a hole. And then one day my love Mexican partner is going to come through. They going to need a little favor. And you going to comply. I just. That has bad written all over it, bro. All over it. What you finna do? Not pay him? No, you going to get your ass towed up. 
So, you know, is what it is, is what it is. And then I laugh because the homies who be fucking with the cartel, they represent some other shit. And I just look over, I'm like, do your folks even know that you functioning like this? Like, can you even do that type of shit? Like, if you in this car over here, but you getting your other shit from that car over there, like, how can that other car respect your car when you work for the other car? You ain't no longer a car, nigga. You the bumper. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I hear this shit with these niggas be saying, and I just look over at them. I'm just like, do y'all hear what y'all be saying, bro? Like, y'all niggas be talking about you bout that life. Y'all niggas with the business, but you get in front of it by the cartel. Hey, man, I think you niggas need to go get a real job. I think y'all need to figure it out. Because you know what's going to happen, right? As soon as you get associated and affiliated with the fucking cartel, you just fuck, bro. You just fuck. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, you fucked. You fucked. You fucked. I don't know what to tell you. You just guilt by association. And that's why I be trying to tell cats, hey, man, all money ain't good money, bro. You got to pay attention to what you be getting yourself into. Me, I'm a fade left. I'm like, man, I already know it's a war going on. It's a crazy ass weed war going on. Cartel is fucking shitting on the, the market to make everybody else fall out the market. So once they gain control of the market, they can fuck with the numbers how they want to. <laughs> Hi, I'm. You can't be that dumb. You can't be. I ain't trying to hear any of that shit. Nigga, you hella smart. You just ain't had nobody go, uh, hey. Psst, 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 psst. What's that song? That psst, 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 psst. <laughs> <coughs> so I don't know what to tell you other than it is what it is. <laughs> oh, what? Like, niggas don't see you fucking with them? I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with the cartel other than yeah this it's rough it's rough like it ain't even like i can't yeah, pfft, like they taking over hoods nigga they running over blocks nigga they they taking over spots in the town southern california nigga down south in vegas what are you talking about son? reno bro oregon like they new york like they out there and they're competing with other so-called active organizations. And I just be looking over and just be like, so, all right, all right, all right, all right. So you know if you, they bitch on the street, right? And you got to do they bidding because they put money in your pocket. Uh, you know if you catch a case and go inside, you still a bitch. You want me to lie to you? No, bro. That's how I go. Like, it's going to be some higher order and, and pecking order and shit like that. Me, I'm out the way. Motherfuckers know I am really, bro. The night that the cartel fucked around and had me and C Cyber uh, in them situations, that's when everybody learned that night. I am not that nigga to fuck with. I'm not that nigga. I'm not that nigga to fuck with. Fuck with. Fuck with. I'm not that nigga. I'm not that nigga. Not that nigga. Don't get me going. Go. I'm about to just start. <laughs> oh man! But I respect it because they really doing business. It's just unfortunate that they be like black power, black pride, support your black on this, that, and the other. These niggas is getting shit canned, molly whopped, and ran through the ground by the cartel. Yeah, niggas don't fuck with niggas in the game. I don't know what to tell you. Now, now the now the cartel is punking niggas in the game. Okay. In the comment section right now, tell me something. Tell, tell me how niggas is not getting punked in the game. Tell, for real. Tell me how these cartel niggas, like city cartel niggas, rule cartel, all them niggas, the cartel, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Tell me how they not coming over there, taking over blocks and all this other shit, running niggas out the turf. 
I mean, if you need a good example, uh, please feel free to go to the open drug market in Frisco. Hey, niggas be walking right through there, ain't making no money. He's talking about, oh, man, that's them Guatemalans. Yeah, bro, they don't fuck around. Just got you just looking like a bitch on your own block. They done turned that motherfucker up. It's real high. Them niggas getting cash, but you not. I think that was what? 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s and shit. That was your block. What about 2021, 20, 22? That shit came to a full stop, man. Man, I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. And then I just kind of look over at the police, be like, nigga, I know y'all see this shit. Stop fucking around. Y'all seen it when a nigga was driving around with no registration? Y'all seen that? Ah, yeah. But you act like you don't see this cartel over acting a fool doing the damn thing around here. No, 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 I'm not scared, bro. It's when you see something wrong, you're supposed to say something. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, like, whoa. Like, come on, now y'all niggas is just, you just flagging it out. Like, I done see these niggas roll up like 12, 13 cars deep at the gas station. You just be like. And they got their hands in a little bit of everything. Oh, I don't give a fuck. They don't even be in my circle like that. I just like to look around and look at y'all niggas and be like, bro, you know what the fuck you doing? One, your dumb ass already a felon. You doing dumb ass shit in the first place, right? Yeah, you doing dumb ass shit in the first place. Now you getting your bag for some niggas who would throw your ass away so motherfucking fast. Like, they'd throw your ass out like a goddamn cigarette butt out the window, bruh. Like, stop. These niggas that get rid of you like you ain't shit. The motherfuckers that had your ass being a fall, fall guy, fall gal, fall person, fall tranny, whatever the fuck you want to be. They had your ass. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, if it's good, you know, then it's good. But don't act like we don't know. Don't act like we don't know. Hey. I keep the respect as what respect does. But when niggas get to making the spot too hot, you just like, hey, Migo, bring that shit down, bro. You making the spot hot. And you mucking up the motherfucking water. Nah, nigga, I don't give a fuck what y'all doing over there. But just, hey, 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 hey. That shit bleed over. It's going to get zesty. Like, what you going to do about it? Oh, I'm going to go get all my white partners. Why? You can't count on these niggas. Niggas is getting punked by Mexicans left and right. Now, I remember back. Okay. So, I remember back in the day. It used to be like about four or five pies to like one nigga in the pen. Like, you know, it usually take about, about four or five serranos to take on a nigga in the pen. Right, I'm just saying. I'm just this is how it was. Now, I don't even think niggas will fight the Mexicans or the Pisces or really turn up because they don't want no smoke. I remember back in the day, niggas was like, it was respect where respect is. Respect, man. I used to get, man. Look, me and this Mexican dude up on the inside, we got into it over a can of tobacco. And I told that nigga, go fuck himself. The nigga's like, you can't say that. I just did. But see, I'm a other. I'm different. I'm different. I'm a mulatto, nigga. I'm on a scooter, nigga. I scoot on a solo. Yeah, I used to tell him, hey, bro, when I went inside, my nigga, I, was, I went in as a other. I, well, the motherfuckers like what? I was like, I wasn't fucking with niggas like that on the street, and I wasn't fucking with it. Like, no, no. And then, no, I'll keep it real. So basically, when you had to get locked up, right? You going on the inside? Most people who be locked the fuck up or on lockdown status usually be like black, white, serranos, Northanos. Like them niggas be doing something stupid. The motherfuckers be put on lockdown. When you're on lockdown, you can't get no movement, can't get no wiggle, can't go to the store, none of that shit. <laughs> So when I went in as the other, I just did what the fuck I wanted. 
fucked up part is I buck up with everybody. So I was bucking up with Serenios. I was bucking up with Northerners. And niggas was like, what the fuck? Serenio was like, man, I'm not bucking with you. I was like, nigga, I'm a other. He was like, but you black. I was just like, kind of. Like, nigga, my mama white, my daddy black. But I run with others. Do you have a problem? Motherfucker was like, nope, we politicking. But now out here in the streets, man, man, these Mexicans came up in here and got everybody strung out on dope. Motherfuckers done plummeted the fucking prices in the weed game and they taking all y'all motherfucking money and starting businesses. <laughs> hey. I ain't mad. I respect they hustle. I respect they shit. Because when you see it, when you see it and you say it out loud like that, you're like, well, they getting they dope from the CCP. They giving they dope to the white boys and the niggas. They cutting all the dope, giving it to the white boys and the niggas. They crushing the fucking weed market. <laughs> the government ain't doing shit, nigga. <laughs> the government ain't doing a goddamn thing. They just, that's what, bro. That's why I don't be tripping because they all in cahoots. Niggas is up to something. That's why I'm just getting mine, staying out the way. I'm like, I can't even control my motherfucking baby mama. That water out there deep, so I ain't got no reason to be swimming. But I can't be no punk. I ain't scared to get wet, though. I ain't scared to get wet. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. So we having a good time, man. Yeah, so far, so good. We doing it. We doing it. And I can't really bitch and complain. Oh, it's going to try to go out. Mm -mm -mm. Might bring it back, bro. Might bring it back. There we go. It's back. It's back. It's back in this bitch. Yeah, so where we go from here? Man, I don't know, bro. Me, I'm just rocking my little brand. We got to figure out. We got to pick a handle and stick with it. I'll be having y'all niggas all over the place. It'd be like, Natty McBarbar, Cannabis 3.0, Flamingo Jones. They're like, huh, 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 huh. I'm like, yeah, but that's me, though. I got to come up with another logo. There's just so much fun shit I got to do, bro. It's just a bunch of shit I got to do. And I'm just going to take my time and do it. And still work like a savage, bro. Still work like a savage. Cool thing is, now we going down to four days on, three days off. Four days on, three days off. Four days on, three days off. Until, I don't know. I was hella happy to get that little bit of time. I was hella happy. Like I still had shit that needed to be bucked and shit that needed to be trimmed and shit needed to be trained out and clean and weighed and put out the other spots. It's just so much shit, bro. So much shit. Spraying plants and trying to figure out just it's it's a lot. It's a lot. I owed one homie uh, a clone. He was just like, when you gonna shoot me that clone? I'm just like, my nigga, I ain't fucked with clones in so long. But what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm just gonna, you know when I do it, when I cut the clones on, like I'm just gonna send that nigga all type of shit for him being all patient and stuff. Yeah, we ended up sending some shit that was too cold. It ended up hitting like one of the little cold spots and fucked off the plant. By the time we came back around, nigga, we was on some other shit. <clears throat> So I want to make sure I keep him Gucci. Just because it's the right thing to do. It's just the right thing to do. I want to make sure. And plus, there's just enough for everybody, bro. It's enough for everybody. And hey, bro, I'll be ordering, you know, seeds and shit from other spots. You niggas don't be giving no extras. Like, zero extras. Like, I'll be like, God damn, y'all know. Bro, I done seen some of these motherfuckers, like, they don't even sell you 10 seeds. They be like, I got seven. The fuck? I be like, whatever, whatever, whatever. 
So I noticed that everybody's like, oh, we should do some OG. Now, here we go again. Here we go again on my home. No, oh, right, my bad. I'm sorry. So every time we fucking turn around, they got, oh, it's a such and such. What is that? Oh, it's got OG in it. You'd be like, come on, bro. Look, OG is not a fruity booty. Last time I looked, we still on the hunt for purple on the outside, purple on the inside, VVS Diamond, sweet, sweet gas. Sweet, sweet gas. I don't really know no OGs that be on some sweet, sweet gassy. Now, if y'all want to do this OG shit, I'll reach right over into the vault and pull out that Valley of the Aliens, or I'll reach over there and go get that Bubba Valley Aliens, which is Bubba Valley, which is Bubba Kush times San Fernando Valley OG, oh, excuse me, times Alien Rip. There's some other shit in there too. We got like a Legend OG times Gusher times Runs. I, I, don't, I know, I know, I know what it is. I don't, I don't, I can't remember the fucking name of it, but I know I crossed that bitch. We got the Peach OG in there somewhere. I know, Gorilla Bean. I know, I know. I was looking for that shit the other day. Hey, thank you so much for all the motherfuckers who are out there growing these genetics, man. Like, we got a couple of chats that be popping off, and I get, I'm lucky and blessed to see motherfuckers growing the genetics that we put together. So I'm, I just want to say thank you for all those. Like, the McRunch is looking hella good, Goku looking crazy. Like, what was that other one? Uh, Mick Runtz was like, had me like, oh, okay. And then that fucking uh, Green Mamba. Was that Green Mamba Day 62? Uh. Yeah, I also said like earlier, it's it's one thing, getting all snotty nosed and shit. It's one thing for me to grow it. Like when I say it's one thing for me to grow it and, you know, take pictures and and you know, pump the shit, advertise it, market that bitch, nano marketing, micro marketing, you know what I'm saying, like macro marketing, all that shit. But it's different when somebody else grows it. Because motherfuckers get to like see what it does, what it do from a whole different angle. And I can't, and it's not like it's Jaden saying, like, oh, it was me. Nah, 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 nah. It's someone else's shit. Like when we uh got that second place little trophy with uh with uh OGPG from the AZ and uh, Dopey, bruh, I worked very hard on that fucking cookie OG. Like that was that was a no punk like situation. But I'm so over that goddamn thing. Like everybody, like oh, when you go pop some more, I'm just like, bro, I'm so not your. OG dude, I'm so not your cookies dude, like I don't like that fucking make, like, go to sleep ass weed, we got that Grand Flora's, uh what was that, Lemon Sorbet times Project, that motherfucker put your ass to sleep in a heartbeat, had your ass over hitting the blunt, that blunt would go out on your ass <laughs> as much as motherfuckers like, oh let's do the cookie OG I'm just like, one, I don't know where the fuck all them seeds is that my wife be getting on my ass talking about man we need to organize this shit and I be like yeah we do she's like we need to do some inventory I was like yeah we do when it's gonna happen man fuck if I know fuck if I know I'm just gonna keep on making these bitches allegedly we scheduled to stop by a spot and go look at a whole bunch of fucking clones yeah I'm just gonna go be an asshole yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna be an asshole and be at it. Like, just go get it, you know, just go get a the variety of some shit. Y'all niggas said y'all wanted. There you go. There you go. Oof. But yeah, man, I ain't gonna keep y'all niggas too much longer. I know y'all got shit to do. I got shit to do. And I don't wanna, uh, what's that called when you, uh, uh, uh when you stay, wear out your welcome. I don't wear out my welcome, man. I don't wear out my welcome. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all in between, it is an honor, privilege, and pleasure to hang out with you motherfuckers. I hope you guys have a illustrious and exuberous night, day, or evening. Shout out to Looney. I just wanted to let a motherfucker know I see you out there getting it, bruh. Stay focused in the game. You got this. And I'm going to holler at you. What type of style? God body style. Two and two.